robotization for us is, is a really uh, key pillar uh, for our development. We have a strong belief that in the future more and more activities in greenhouses will be automized by robots, by uh, support of uh, computer systems, AI systems. Uh, so we've been looking into the market what is available in terms of technologies and how can we bring that into Syngenta so that we can start developing genetics that fit very well with those upcoming technologies in automated harvesting or other automated activities in the greenhouse. Syngenta is um, partnering with For Growers because they are, based on our technology assessment, the leading company in um, to automated tomato harvesting. And we use their advanced technology to apply it in our greenhouse and adapt the varieties um, to be made for autonomous harvesting. So first the robot uh, sees the tomato, identifies its ripeness, decides whether or not to pick it. If it decides to pick it, it'll go up, um, suck it into the vacuum system, pass through the tube uh, and drop it into a crate. Then the crate will get shifted into the packing cart. And once the row is finished harvesting, the packing cart will return to the start of the row to give you a cart full of freshly harvested tomatoes. So to have the trial here with the robot um, yeah, enable us to see in what variety the robot is performing better compared to the, to the other. And we've seen already very nice results. Some varieties are better attached to the cluster than, than the others, or the clusters are more multi-branched. And we've seen yeah, nice differences from the one to the other variety. And the robot is yeah, detecting that difference nicely. We're chasing the same speed as humans in terms of just raw speed, but ultimately the robot can work a lot longer than a human can. Uh, up to 18 hours right now, uh, if not longer. So growers are getting more and more interested in mechanization and we have seen the evolution in high-tech greenhouses where technology has always been involved very fast. We have a lot of early adapters in the market that try and implement new technologies and we see exactly the same with robotization. There are several different robots already in use in trials to understand how they work with, with growers. Uh, so we see that the market is really ready to adapt those new technologies. Uh, for example, uh, one of the most important goals with this harvest robot is for data collection. We are able to collect uh, multiple traits uh, at the same time so that we gain efficiency of work. Uh, secondly, we are able to get more accurate data, uh, meaning better quality uh, of data. Uh, on top of that, uh, we will receive much more data points, meaning a higher volume or higher quantity of data. Uh, with all these aspects, we are able to make better and more precise the decisions in breeding. So robotization will have a major impact on the industry, on the greenhouse industry, uh, not only to reduce labor cost, because that's the obvious uh, advantage, but also the labor dependency. And we see in many countries that labor is getting more scarce, it's hard to find good labor. Uh, and therefore we expect that automation and robotization is only at the starting point today. It will significantly disrupt the industry in the coming five to 10 years. And we as Syngenta want to be part of it.